Hello, Roger Killen here. 76 days to go between now and October the 19th. Today was all about designing a training aid that will help uh, our 12 speakers pair their uh, inspiring script with powerful delivery. Uh, with this pairing, we stand the maximum possible likelihood of being able to activate our audiences uh, in or, uh, to take the actions called upon by the speakers, and that is why Get Inspired Talks exists. It's to activate our live and online audiences so that they will do things that make for a better world. Uh, the document does not yet have a name, but the essence of it is that it's uh, delivery tips that will help uh, speakers uh, 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 de uh, deliver inspiring audiences that maximize the possibility of activation. So what goes into this document? Well, there's eight major headings. Uh, the first of those major headings is, uh, uh, is uh, voice. What uh, elements of a speaker's voice do they have to be able to control uh, in order to maximize the outcome? Uh, those elements are uh, volume, uh, pitch, inflection, uh, pausing, pacing, uh, pronunciation, and enunciation. All are important. The next area is appearance. What should the speaker look like in order to command the maximum amount of quick credibility? Uh, what about facial expressions? Very important whenever there's a jumbo screen that shows the speaker's face 16 feet by nine feet. Uh, eye contact is really important, and this is really challenging on the Get Inspired Talk stage, because when the speaker takes the stage, what they see are bright lights. And when they look down to the audience, they see uh, silhouettes. They don't see features on faces, and that's because of the lights. The audience, on the other hand, is still expecting intimate eye contact, and so the speaker has to learn how to do that. Uh, next comes posture. Uh, the speaker walks to the speaking area and center stage, stands on the stage, and how he or she walks and how he or she stands is posture. And the audience is making up their minds as to likability and credibility from the second they see the speaker begin his or her walk to the speaking area. So posture is important. Then they reach the speaking area, which is eight feet by eight feet, a, car, a purple carpet in the case of Get Inspired Talks. How do they move on that stage? Every movement is deliberate uh, and has to be done with an acute degree of awareness in mind. On that stage, the audience, the speaker uh, gesticulates. Uh, what, what are their actions that are going to maximize the point they're trying to make? Uh, the power with which they're trying to make it, and the credibility they evoke from the audience in the process. The final category is visual aids. <clears throat> now, the audience is not there for a PowerPoint presentation, but nevertheless, the odd PowerPoint and the odd prop can really help get, a, get the speaker's message across. The old expression, a, 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 a picture is worth a thousand words, is very true. Uh, in the case of both props and PowerPoints, uh, so long as they're done right. And that's the whole challenge. So the guidance is make judicious use of visual aids like props and PowerPoints. This uh, document uh, will need to be fleshed out. Then it goes out for peer review to a number of credible people, particularly the Get Inspired Talks accredited speaker coaches. Uh, then all input is taken, version two, version three, version four, and finally, uh, by the end of August, or early September, I'll have a document that I'm proud of to pass on to the speakers. Uh, they then uh, tackle it, uh, they implement, uh, hopefully all of it, uh, but at least some of it, uh, all, and then they, we have to, it has to go through a testing process in front of a live audience, a small live test audience. That's what, Today has been about the, the, the design of this document. Roger and out.